Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We are so glad you're here. Um, I'm at Layman's today, which is a brick and mortar store, but I am here to make a video about my finds over the past couple of days. Um, I had one auction find. It's a stool that you're gonna love. I went to Dano's, which is our local thrift store, to pick up some stuff for um, that people saw in the previous video that they wanted. And I found one of those items and then I found a couple of Halloween things while I was there. And then I went to a yard sale. So let's get to it and let me show you what I found. Here we are at my local thrift shop. And like I said, I came to look for something in particular, but of course when I saw some fall items, I had to stop and check those out. And look at these cutie little pumpkins that I found. So yes, these are adorable. They are not very vintage um, and possibly hobbyist pieces, but Halloween is hot. You guys love it. And so I just went ahead and picked up those two ceramic pieces and I'll show those to you in just a second. I went ahead and looked just to see if there was anything else that I might want to take home with me in the fall stuff, but the pumpkins were the cutest, so I'm going to stick with those. And so now I'm looking for this mid-century weeping gold, and look, here's the shelf, and there's the empty spot. So Jerry, I'm sorry, your little square one with the black and the weeping gold wasn't there anymore. So I'm sorry about that, but maybe next time. Look what an And now I have one more piece to look for, a weeping gold panther. This is the tiger right here, but ta-da, there's the panther. Oh boy, he's gonna make somebody really happy. Okay, so I just showed you the Halloween items. Uh, from the local thrift store. Here they are in person. Quite adorable. So they are not vintage. They don't look that old to me. But if you are interested in either one of those, that's a cutie. I don't know if it ever had a lid, but it does not have one now. And then Here's this little guy, no face on him. He's just your regular, regular pumpkin. But also that is super cute. Um, it's in good shape. Looks like the, there's the tiniest chip here on the inside, but that is covered completely by the lid. So these two items will be for sale. Um, so if you're interested, email us at fatbirdfinds at gmail.com to see if those are still available. Then this, oh my gosh, you guys, look. This is the mid-century modern footstool that I found. Well, actually, my cousin Sherry, whom we like to call Uncle Sherry around here. <laughs> but anyway, she was on the lookout and got me this adorable footstool so that is at layman's um it's pretty heavy i don't think it would be shippable um i don't know if i'm gonna i'm gonna try to clean that vinyl anyway this might have to go home in my office <laughs> but you know if you're interested and you want to come by and see it it is here at layman's isn't that super cool I just love that. Thanks, Sherry. Okay, and then I did hit a yard sale. Oh, those little pumpkins are so cute in the background. Did hit a yard sale, and I found these little items. So let me lay these out so you can see them better. Okay, so right here, We've got tarot cards. Now, most of you guys know, but if you don't know, tarot cards are quite hot on the internet. If you find any kind of tarot cards, 
um, they're going to be resellable. Um, I have not counted to see if this is a complete set. So I will do that uh, once I get done with this video here. If it is a complete set, it's going to go on eBay. Here's just an example. See, it's full. But here's an example of some of the cards. This is an old, kind of an ancient motif here with all the shields. And so it probably has instructions on how to read these. Um, but anyway, it is desirable. I did look them up um, before I picked them up. And if it's complete, it sells in the $30 range. So. Um, if that is complete, I will list that on eBay. And if not, they may become package toppers or something like that. So cool find there. Also, there was this little bag of chickens. And then once every couple of months, we have the PYT sale. Um, there's a group of us that likes to sell the little miniatures. And so I thought I would put this back for the next PYT sale. They're nice little porcelain chickens. And you know, chickens were big in the 90s, but I think chickens and roosters are coming back in style. So I'm gonna call that one. It's kind of a grand millennial thing and grand millennial is coming back. And I think roosters are gonna make a comeback. So those are super cute. And then there was a Ziploc bag with mushrooms, a mushroom theme. These are not vintage, but look how super cute they are. Who doesn't love a good mushroom? So, um, there is just a tiny little tear there, but that's a cute hot pad and tea towel. So that may go for sale in a live sale, or I might put it on eBay. I'm not sure yet. If it's on eBay, it'll be in the description below. And so look how cute those are love it and then I've got one more um, section of things to show you and lastly at that same yard sale I picked up these uh, little items this is an adorable um, journal it's blank I think that I'm gonna put my Mad Men notes in there you guys so we are getting ready to start our podcast back with a series about our favorite show Mad Men and um, anyway, I'm gonna take notes on the first episode to share with you guys. And I think I'm gonna use this book. I got another one which I left at home, but it has blank pages and I'm gonna give that one to Mary Beth and I'm gonna take this one. So isn't that pretty? 75 cents, I tried to take the tag off and it tore a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna get a big pretty sticker to put over that. But I was impressed with that find for myself. And then, you know, I can't pass up a good bag. These are, this said vintage $5. And I took a chance because I was trying to hurry and get to other things. Um, and I saw this and oh my gosh, I got excited for a minute. Old stickers are very much a bolo. Um, if this had all been here, and complete, this would be selling for about 15 or $20. But it is not complete. In fact, it's hardly, there's hardly anything in it. These are two blank pages here. Um, there's a partial page here. And then the back page has one missing. So there's not even one complete page. I don't know if that will bring anything or not. Um, you guys can tell me in the comments below, but maybe I'll just list it on there and see what happens. Um, also, there was a couple of Richard Scary stickers, but see 1977, these vintage 70s stickers, when they are complete, um, you guys should pick those up because they are um, collectible. But if anybody's interested in these partial sheets, let me know because I, they probably aren't um, quite valuable enough to list on eBay. 
Um, and then let's see, I haven't really looked through here. There's just random stuff in here. Office talk. <laughs> Jack Daniels card. That's kind of cool. Just one card though. Um, garbage pail kids. Yuck. <laughs> but I think those are a little bit collectible. Charlie's Angels. Garbage pail. Garbage pail. If anybody's interested in the garbage pail kids, let me know about those. I will probably get those to you pretty cheap. Um, these are cute. These are Denison seals or stickers. Um, these probably have a few missing as well, but those look in pretty good shape. Love those. Those might go on eBay. You guys, there's a current online auction going on and the Halloween version of these Denison seals are sell already have bids of seven, 68 and $78. So for sure, if you were to see those, you should grab those. And then let's see, there's just some 3D glasses. Looks like some kids' little stash from the 80s. Uh, look before you leap. He's cute. It's an advertisement. And then these are Smokey the Bear. Yeah, I mean, I'll at least probably, I'll get my money back in a little bit on the Denison seals, but I just love looking through that kind of stuff. So if anybody wants any of these items, just send me an email and we will work something out. All right, I think that is it. I hear mom coming in, so I'm gonna have to catch up with her. But I think that was a nice little haul. I love my stool. So thank you so much, Sherry, for that. And you guys email us at fatbirdfinds at gmail.com if you see anything you like. And stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. Bye, everybody.